Now we are in part three of problem six, supposed to prove that SQ2 is in NP. So again, it's a decision problem. Our job is to show that it's polynomial time certifiable. Uh, this is very similar to what we did on problem five, except it's a different problem, of course. So this time, what will our certificate be? It will be uh, a function, okay, F, uh, that maps each vertex to uh, the player that controls it. And of course, we could represent this function as just a list of numbers. Uh, the first number will be the player number who controls vertex one, the second number will be the player number who controls vertex two, and so on and so on and so on. Clearly this takes polynomial space for reasonable assumptions about the representation of the input, because we're only going to need for each of the vertices to use uh, a reasonable number of bits, log of the number of players bits, in order to describe who controls it. So this is our certificate. Now, how do we check this certificate? Okay, uh, well, it's gonna be the usual thing, right? So step one, um, actually, let me, let me say a list for each vertex of player number who controls it. Okay, so, um, step one is uh, ensure the list has the entries. Clearly we can do that in polynomial time. Okay, step two, now we know the list has the entries. Uh, ensure each entry is in one up to, uh, sorry, not the number of vertices, but P. So we want to ensure that each entry is a legitimate player number, and clearly that takes polynomial time. Okay, now we know we've got a list, we have a legitimate allocation of the star systems to players. What we don't know is if it meets the constraints on the problem. So how do we check if it meets the constraints on the problem? For I'm going to do this super inefficiently, by the way, because I'm allowed to. I want to check, uh, do I have a connected set of star systems, uh, owned all owned by the same player, uh, that is too large. So what I'm going to do is for each vertex v, I'm going to BFS from v without allowing visits to nodes owned by other players besides the one that owns V. Okay, so effectively I am inducing a subgraph and that subgraph is only the nodes owned by V. So we'll delete all of the other nodes and all of the edges connected to them. Um, counting number of unique, unique nodes visited. And we can certainly do that in a breath for search. Okay, does this take polynomial time? Well, there are V of these, and this takes polynomial time. We know breadth for search takes polynomial time. Uh, I certainly haven't made it uh, significantly harder by just checking to make sure that the right player owns it. We can do that check in constant time, uh, and we knew that breadth for, breadth for search took polynomial time, in fact, linear time in the size of the representation of the graph in the first place. Uh, so we're in good shape, that takes polynomial time. Um, and then check, ensure, that number is less than or equal to k.
and that ought to do it, right? If we check that for every single vertex, obviously it's a total waste to do it this way, but it doesn't matter. If we check for every single vertex that the number of vertices remaining always in the same color reachable from it, including itself, is no more than k, then we are all set. So all these steps take polynomial time, which means we have a polynomial time verifier for the problem, and that means the problem is in NP.